The topic of this video is solving exponential growth and decay problems. In this video, we're going to use both methods in a single problem. The first method, the short way, is using patterns. The second method, the long way, is using the exponential growth equation. Let's look at our problem. The population of a colony of mosquitoes obeys the law of uninhibited growth. That's a scary sentence. The table below relates time and the number of mosquitoes. All right, here's our table. So our first column is the amount of time, and our second column is the number of mosquitoes. We can see that at the start time, the first moment when we go out to measure the number of mosquitoes, we find that there are 1,000 mosquitoes. Then, after 48 hours, we find that there are 1,900 mosquitoes. And four days after the start time, we find that th there are 3,610 mosquitoes. There are two questions. Part A, how many mosquitoes will there be after six days? And part B, when will there be 70,000 mosquitoes? All right, so let's begin by solving this problem with the patterns method. So the first thing you have to understand about using patterns is that your time units have to be consistent. In our table, we have a mixture of hours and days, which is not allowed within a table. It has to all be converted to hours or all be converted to days. Which one should we choose, hours or days? To answer that question, you should look at part A, which says how many mosquitoes after six days, because the question asks for days, our table needs to be using days. So let's convert everything to days. The third row already says four days. Great. This row, 48 hours, well, 48 hours is two days. So I'm going to erase 48 hours here, and I'm going to convert that to days, two days. All right, and zero hours would also be zero days. It's the starting time, no matter how you measure it, whether it's minutes or hours or days, it's still zero. Okay, great, so now our time units are all consistent and our quantities are consistent. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes, mosquitoes. Now we have to start looking for a pattern. What's the pattern here? Well, remember that exponential growth and decay means that adding time results in a multiplying or dividing of amount. You have to add in the first column and multiply or divide in the second column. If you ever find yourself adding over here, you are making a mistake, stop, stop what you are doing. All right, so what's the pattern here for adding? What do we add to zero to turn it into a two? And what do we add to two to turn it into a four? The answer is two. The adder A is two. Adder A is 2. So if we add 2 all the way down the chart, then we'll have 6 days, 8 days, 10 days, 12 days, 14 days. And that's when we run out of room in our chart. We could keep going if we wanted to, but this is the chart that was provided, and we filled it in as far as we can go. All right, now, when it comes to the mosquitoes, we can see that there is growth. We started with 1,000, then it grows to 1,900, then it grows to 3,610, and we're looking for some sort of a pattern. So 1,000 times what value will give us 1,900? You can think of that in an algebraic sense. 1,000 times some unknown number is going to give us 1,900. Well, in an algebra class, unknown number is x. So I'm just going to replace that question mark with an x. Now, if someone asked you to solve this equation, 1,000 times x equals 1,900, how would you do it? You'd just divide. Divide by 1,000 on both sides, and you'd get the value of x, and x would be equal to 1.9. Now, in this particular instance, x represents our multiplier. So instead of x, we'll use m. So the multiplier, m, equals 1.9. Now I don't want you doing this kind of algebra every time you see a problem like this. I want you to pick up on the pattern and then just use the pattern. Notice what we ended up doing to get the 1.9. We took the 1900 and divided it by the 1000. So in the future, all you have to do is take two adjacent numbers and take the bigger one and divide it by the smaller one, and that will tell you your multiplier m. 
By the way, this works for all adjacent pairs of numbers. Uh, everybody get out your calculators right now and do this. 3,610 divided by 1,900. What do you see? Go ahead, do it. What do you see? I'll tell you what I see. 1.9. You get the same number every time you divide adjacent values. That's how you know you're dealing with growth that's truly exponential. All right, so now that we've established the pattern, we can use it to fill in the rest of the table. If you want to know what the next number is, you just have to take the previous number and multiply it by 1.9. So let's do that. And let's start way at the top of the table. So 1,000 times 1.9. That gives us 1,900. Follow along with me with your calculators. Put all these numbers in your calculators as we go together. All right, now 1,900 times 1 1.9 gives the next value 3,610. 3,610 times 1.9 is 6,859 mosquitoes. That number times 1.9 gives you 13,032.1 mosquitoes. Leave the point 0.1 in there because this is a mathematical model. When we answer questions, we'll consider rounding, but when we make our model, we leave all of our decimals. Multiplying by 1.9 again, now we get 24,760.99. Multiplying by 1.9 again, we get 47,045.881. And multiplying by 1.9 one last time, we get 89,387.1739. Okay, great, we filled in our table. Now, we'll cross our fingers and hope that doing that, filling in our table, which is the short way, using patterns, will be enough to answer both questions. Let's find out. Part A, how many mosquitoes after six days? Well, six days appears as a row in our table, and the number of mosquitoes is 6,859. Great, done. Part B, when will there be 70,000 mosquitoes? Well, we look in the column for mosquitoes for the number 70,000, and we find that it's not there. 70,000 is somewhere in between 47,000 and 89,000. And for that reason, we cannot use patterns to solve this problem. We cannot use patterns to solve part B of this problem. But what we can do is use the exponential law equation. Now, since 70,000 is somewhere in between here and here, that means that the final answer we're looking for, when will there be 70,000 mosquitoes, is somewhere in between 12 and 14 days. Our job is to figure out where. Is it 12.3? Is it 13.1? Is it 13.6? We need to figure that out. And the way we're going to do that is using the exponential law equation. To use the exponential law equation, we're going to need to remember the adder and the multiplier because we're going to need that for our value of k. So let's just write those down really quickly. a equals 2 and m equals 1.9. We're going to stop this video for now and in the next video we'll finish this problem and we will use the exponential law equation.